Hi, this is Hal again, Hal Ngoy, digital strategist at OnMax Host Digital. Today, I want to introduce you to this page on our website, the resources that we make available for you, WordPress resources. Our goal, my goal is to provide you with a, a resource, a one place where you can find information, knowledge, news, ideas, uh, recommendations, and reviews uh, on many of the resources available out there. Whether you're just a small business owner with a limited budget who wants to build a strong and successful presence on the web to grow your business, or you may be a web designer, or you may be just a hobbyist, a blogger or something, and uh, you, you look around and you wonder sometimes what is the best resource to use. As we all know, the internet is expanding daily, is changing rapidly, search engines, the algorithms are changing very rapidly. I keep repeating this in almost all of my videos. And uh, because of that, uh, the tools that the tools, the strategies, the styles, and the things that we, we used to use yesterday or five years ago, they may still work, they may still look good, but they may not be efficient, they may not be the best solution today and tomorrow. And as a business owner, I am not only trying to solve the problem today, I want to solve the problem today and also uh, make provision for tomorrow. And, and that's why we do conduct a lot of research, studies, analysis, and we, we, we try to understand where we are and where we're headed. And so, um, in this video, I'm going to just explain to you why we're presenting uh, WordPress themes and WordPress page builders to you. Now, before I continue, if you are new here, please uh, click the subscribe button and click the notification bell uh, so that you will not miss anything in the future. If you find this information interesting, will you please comment, ask questions, share with others, and invite others to join the channel. And also, for the sake of full disclosure, nobody paid me to make this video. And I am not making it because somebody influenced me to make it. There are links at the bottom of this video, and these links will point to some of the themes, WordPress themes and, and, and uh, WordPress uh, page builders, and maybe also some of the plugins and resources. You will always find them on our channel. And... On Max Host Digital is an affiliate of uh, a number of those companies. If you click on those links and, and get to that website and make a purchase, we will earn a commission. Now, you don't have to do that, but we are here providing you with value, I believe, knowledge, information, the research that we do, presenting you with a summarized list of uh, resources that may help you in your business and saving you a ton of time uh, and giving you the knowledge you need. And hopefully you will find that to be valuable and to be worth you clicking on the link and helping us earn that little commission that we get from these companies. All right. So thank you very much. If you have a question about that, feel free to contact me and I will be happy to discuss with you. Okay, I said it in another one of my videos that when I first started designing websites, I was doing HTML, CSS code, you know. Um, and, and so uh, the layout and everything, the tables, the fonts, the colors, the backgrounds, the videos, everything we did manually. The JavaScript, we brought it in and, you know, added functionalities and stuff like that. But then as WordPress came onto the scene, uh, a lot of themes were 
presented uh, and gradually we have web page builders that have also been made and in my own experience I started using these uh, web WordPress themes and uh, sometimes it's difficult it takes time to research the right theme for the right website that I am doing and many of these themes sometimes came with the certain features incorporated into them plugins and uh and maybe custom made pages and and stuff like that that were incorporated in it and and many of these themes came with the builder and you had to go to the back end and and work and then switch and look at what it looks like what you just did and back and forth back and forth and sometimes uh after i remember once once i created a, a website and then a couple of years later or three years later we needed to change and get another theme and we were forced to do the job from scratch because of the uh the way the the, the you know the, the theme was built and the custom made pages that we used uh we, we could not get that content to transfer to another theme and many times when a theme comes with a, a builder in it some of these builders just drove me crazy i'm not going to mention names but um when i i, I didn't understand this i i went for a theme and i liked the theme and then the builder was uh, just another one of the headaches and now uh i have to buy another theme but today uh, things have evolved. Uh, search engines and the internet is demanding more and more speed. And here we are, um, through my own trial and errors and learning and growing through the years, uh, I have come to develop experience and understanding and knowledge and, and through research. Uh, we are now at On Max Source Digital spending a lot of time doing research on SEO and, and branding and uh, all, all this social media marketing and, and, and we are understanding, studying closely uh, search engine algorithms and so we're developing this understanding and we want to bring this understanding to you and it is free. Uh, if if you need the one-on-one -on -one class, we also will be starting offering courses that will be paid, but everything that I'm providing here is free. So if you uh, are where I was at and uh, facing the same challenges that I faced, I want to share with you some of the things that you need to keep in mind that I, we're beginning to take into consideration before making a choice of a theme you know um, we're giving you some ideas as into the future uh, where we are going you know so one of the first problems that I had at some point was I purchased a theme and after a couple years the maker of the theme the developer went out went out of business um, some of these themes it's a first-time person making it or maybe they've been trying to do it uh, and maybe who knows they won the lottery or something you know they decided to move into a different direction now i couldn't get support i couldn't benefit i couldn't ask questions uh, and so there were no updates coming and, and, and suddenly uh we have to buy another team spend a lot of time designing the same website again with another theme so uh, some of the things that you have to take into consideration, like, I mean, who made the theme? You, you can do some investigation online and find out the background, find out, you know, is this a solo freelancer? Is this what they're doing? Have they been doing this for a long time? You can chat with them, ask them questions. Uh, what's your vision? You know, what's the future like for you? Uh, how many clients do you have? If they have a, 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 quite a, a large number of clients, it's most likely that they're probably going to be around for a while. But you also have to look at the updates that whenever I want uh, a plugin, I look at when was the last update made. Uh, it gives me an idea of whether these people are keeping up. If I see a plugin these days that has not been updated for a, a year and more, I don't trust that. I don't buy it. 
So nowadays, you know your website, you want to refresh it on a regular basis because uh, you want to keep your brand, renewing your, your, your brand image and making it look better. Some of the styles that were good yesterday, we don't like them today. Remember your hairstyle from the 60s, from the 70s, from the 80s, even just early in the year 2000. Uh, everything, the way we dress. So the styles that we're using today, we didn't use yesterday. And the styles that we use, even things that we used two years ago, are now looking like obsolete. You know, if you look at your computer, your laptop, your, your phones, you know, everything is moving so fast. So um, your theme in a couple of years may not be that something that you want. You may need to upgrade it. So you have to know that uh, the developers who made the theme are still going to be around and they invested in this theme and they invested in their business and they have a large amount of clients and they are going to be around for a while. So I look at that because I learned my lesson. And you, you also need to look at the theme and the features on the theme. I mean, are these the features you need? Uh, uh, does the theme carry features you don't need? You know, uh, every plugin, every feature uh, makes the theme heavier, and we all know the relationship between the theme and web page load speed. You know, and sp page load speed is increasingly a, a ranking factor in uh, search engines, and Google, for instance, will push your website, your page down. On the ranking list, on the result uh, uh, page, result, uh, search results uh, page, uh, and because if your site is slow, even if your content is excellent, they're going to push you down. And so, what I want is, I just want the right amount of uh, features that I need. I don't need all these that I don't need. It's like um, I like buffet. You know, when I go to a restaurant, I pick and choose what I want, and I make my own dish. Uh, some some ready-made dishes like what else is in this dish? Oh, we put this. I don't like that. Can you remove this? You know stuff like that. So plugins that if if, if plugins are in um, incorporated, especially proprietary plugins, you know that are made specifically for that theme or builder or something like that. Uh, you know, you, at some point. It, those plugins may no longer meet your your needs, and you may need a, 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 another plugin, and there will be a clash. So, down the road, there could be a lot of problems because of the features incorporated into the type of theme, types of themes that um, uh, uh, we've used for many years, you know, uh, they had incorporated in them a theme, a page builder. And like I said earlier, that's one of the features that uh, in many of the themes, I like the themes and uh, it drives me crazy. The, uh, it's not user-friendly, you know. Uh, is the theme, is it front-end, is it back-end? Uh, as a developer, as a designer, I charge my client based on how long the project will take me to complete. And I believe you do that too. And if you, you're an entrepreneur, you're a small business owner, time is money, is gold. You don't have much of it. And so you need a solution that is fast and efficient. A front-end design theme, a front-end design page builder, those are very efficient because all the tools you need the styles, the layouts, everything is right there visually in front of you. And when you make a change, you don't have to flip over to see what it looks like and flip back. You can see the changes that you made, they're showing in front of you immediately, instantly. Now, that will save you a ton of time. That will save you a lot of time. And Anything that saves you a lot of time as a small business owner, that is welcome. You quickly move to building your business. If you're a designer, if you're a developer, uh, then you know your, your cost of operation 
is now down, you can take on more projects and you can charge your clients less and you can get more business like that. So it's very important to investigate investigate these things and uh, understand, you know, what um, the options available out there uh, that you can choose, you know, properly. So um, the themes and page builders that we present you here are front end design and uh, they have all the layouts and fonts and styles, etc. all in the front end you see what you're doing immediately and all, all these tools you know the ones that we used to use maybe two three four years ago they work i'm not saying that they're not working but uh the the the, the new modern page builders and themes they facilitate and enable you to unleash your creativity uh by Either using ready-made blocks, uh, elements that you put, blocks that you put and, and mix them and create a new design. Or the fact that you're able to see how you're designing it and how it is coming up and, and whether it's for your customers. That to me is, uh, I like this experience. It, it's, it's a wonderful experience. You know, we keep talking about user experience. For yourself, you know user experience so uh pay attention do your research and also try to understand if this particular theme and page builder can integrate with the tools additional tools that you need for the functionality full functionality of your website if you're an e-commerce website for instance and you're going to need woocommerce because you need your shopping cart and you need your catalog and you need your checkout and cart is is this theme going to be compatible if, if the theme already has incorporated in it some of the features that will be incompatible with uh, uh woocommerce then you will have wasted your time you will have has wasted your money now even if you may not need these things today but you have to look down the road how it will be can you make changes you know uh, we have a number of themes that we are promoting here, DV, Astra, Hello from uh, Elementor, uh, page builders such as Elementor, which is our favorite, and that's again, it's my opinion, and like I said earlier, nobody is paying me or paying on Max Host Digital for me to make um, these statements, and, and also, you, so you, these themes are light, because they don't come with all these uh, uh, features, uh, unnecessary plugins, and uh, they light, and and they, and they come with a ton of elements. And I will be uh, uh, presenting, uh, analyzing, presenting reviews and tutorials, and telling you exactly each one of the page builders and themes that we. Uh, promote here and are actually using both for us and for our customers will tell you how many elements what kind of elements you, you have with them and 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 when these themes and page builders bring all these elements then you don't need to add unnecessary plugins which will make your website to to, to slow down considerably so you have to decide ahead of time uh what you're looking for what do you need and so you have to look for the theme and page builder uh dv uh elementor uh breezy uh themes like ocean wp astra and and, and breezy and many other ones hello uh, these uh, dokan these themes work with a lot of the plugins they, they're compatible they integrate with a lot of the parts that you need uh, and and they are light, uh, they they fast. You not only you build your website very fast, but the themes also, and and page builders also they they help you create uh, a website that is fast in the search engine, in the performance, so that you can rank higher, give your your visitors the best uh, customer experience on your website, 
so uh in this small introduction i just wanted to let you know that um, today speed is of the essence and um, uh, most of us developers know uh, what is coming ahead and so these resources that i'm uh, presenting to you we're promoting on this website are carefully chosen carefully uh, selected because they answer they meet the needs for the website of tomorrow our desire is to help you design the website that you've always wanted and we welcome your questions we welcome your observations your input your comments uh, if anything was left out you can add but again this is an introductory uh, video just to explain to you what we, we, we will continue to add more resources as we become satisfied with them and and so, uh, so to give you a chance to see a variety of resources and we'll tell you uh, what is the best case scenario the best use of each one of them uh, e-commerce and um, uh, non-profit and all of that we will go slowly in our tutorial to show you how you can use this and i will also be making recommendations for the plugins that you need depending on the objectives the goals depending on what you're building all right again uh i, I just i don't want to make this long um if you're new here please just click the subscribe button on this channel and the notification bell and please share comment ask questions answer the questions of other comment uh, subscribers and invite others to come and join us i thank you for your time and i will see you soon